Hey what's up guys how's it going my name is Tanmay and I'm back with another video for a channel simple snippets so in this video tutorial we'll learn how to convert a hexadecimal number to a decimal number in the previous tutorial we saw its reverse process that is we converted a decimal number to hexadecimal number so if you have missed it you can check it out so let's get started in this video tutorial we'll be solving three different problems wherein we have three different hexadecimal numbers which need to be converted to decimal numbers the first one is a plain integer hexadecimal number without a decimal point the second one is a fractional hexadecimal number that has a decimal point and the third one is a combination of the first and second sum so before we start solving problems let's have a look at the conversion table between decimal and hexadecimal values so as you can see in the table 1 the first 10 digits of decimal and hexadecimal numbers are equivalent to each other. That is when we convert any of the value from decimal to hexadecimal or vice versa, the value remains the same. Or the symbol that denotes each other is always equal. But since the hexadecimal number system has a radix of 16, we still have 6 different symbols left which needs to be represented in decimal as well. So here are the remaining 6 values. As you can see, the decimal number 10 is represented by A, 11 is represented by B and so on. So you need to remember these values as we will be requiring them when we solve the numericals. So let's get started with the first sum. Ok, so here is the first sum wherein we have a hexadecimal number 8A which needs to be converted to a decimal number. So here is how it is supposed to be done. First write down the number in the table as I have drawn. Now we need to assign positional values starting from right to left. Now the positional values start from 0 starting from right to left. So this is at position 0 and this is at position 1. Now we assign positional weights. Now the positional weights for a hexadecimal number are in the power of 16. That is this is 16 raised to 0. Now this 0 is the positional value. So this would be 16 raised to 1. Now to calculate the decimal equivalent we need to take the sum of multiplication of these two values and these two values. So here is the calculation. 8a in hexadecimal is equal to 8 into 16 raised to 1 plus a into 16 raised to 0. Now you must be wondering how to multiply, multiply a into 16. Now you must be wondering how to multiply a into 16. Well that's what we saw the table for. Now we know the value of a is actually 10. So this will give us 8 into 16 raised to 1 plus 10 into 16 raised to 0 which is equal to 128 plus 10. So this gives us 138. So that's our final value. That is 8a in hexadecimal is equal to 138 in decimal. Now let's see the second question. Okay, so in this question we have a fraction value. So we are interested in the fa fractional part. So we first write down the question in the table as I have drawn. 0.7f now in this case we assign positional value starting from left to right of the decimal point and these positional values are negative numbers starting from minus 1. So 7 would be at position minus 1, this would be at position minus 2. Now, assi now assigning the positional weights which are always in the power of 16, we have 16 raised to minus 1 and 16 raised to minus 2. So the decimal equivalent of 0.7f in hexadecimal would be sum of multiplication of these two values which is 7 into 16 raised to minus 1 plus f into 16 raised to minus 2. So according to our table, f corresponds to 15. 
so this gives us 7 into 1 upon 16 plus 15 into 1 upon 16 square so solving the sum we further get the values 0 0.4375 plus 0 0.5 Eight five nine three seven five, which gives us the final answer as zero point four nine six zero, and you can neglect the remaining digits. So zero point seven F in hexadecimal is equal to. 0 0.4960 in decimal so this is our final answer now question 3 is a combination of the first and second question wherein we have an integer part as well as a fractional part for the hexadecimal number so let's first write down the number in the table as I have drawn 5b 0.4c now we have to assign positional values so for the integer part we assign values from right to left of the decimal point starting from 0 so this would be 0th position and this would be position 1 for the fractional part we assign positional values from left to right of the decimal point and these positional values are negative starting from minus 1 to minus 2 and so on. Now to calculate the positional weights which are always to the power of 16 we have 16 raised to 0 16 raised to 1 this would be 16 raised to minus 1 and 16 raised to minus 2. Now these powers are equal to the positional values. So the decimal equivalent of this hexadecimal number 5b.4c is equal to sum of multiplication of these two values that is 5 into 16 raised to 1 plus b into 16 raised to 0 plus 4 into 16 raised to minus 1 plus c into 16 raised to minus 2. Now we know b is equal to 11 and c is equal to 12. So further solving the sum we have 5 into 16 plus 11 into 1 plus 4 into 16 raised to minus 1 that is 1 by 16 plus 12 into 1 upon 16 square which is equal to 80 plus 11 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.0625 so the final answer would be 91.3125 so 5b point 4c in hexadecimal is equal to 91.3125 in decimal that's it for this video if you have any doubts or comments or queries you can always put them in the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload such cool videos peace